you know, as an artist, you come up with a vision and often your end result doesn't quite match the vision that you start with, but it is something inside of you that wants to get out. Somehow there's a voice inside. Maybe it's a muse speaking through you or I don't know, but there's something that says, this is what you can give to the world. For me, that's been through wood. I had been working a job in a corporate office. I was an editor, a technical editor, and hated it. Being locked in a building, part of the time I was in an office with no windows, tied to somebody else's schedule and up somebody else's vision of what I should be doing. For years, I dreamed about transitioning to work with my hands, and we had the opportunity to move out here to New England with an open parcel of land where I could build a shop. There's always been like three key things in my work. One is plain old sense of aesthetics. Like, do I think that's beautiful? Keeping things affordable for people. And then the third is respecting, you know, the source materials. Every bit of lumber that comes in here gets used, even if it just means I use it to feed the wood stove. Part of what that's about is also just respecting this wood should be treated in this particular way because this is what the wood has to offer. It can be a real rat race trying to say, how am I gonna make money off of the art that I wanna do? And so, you know, you're not just making the art, but you're also selling it. You're not just designing the art, but you're also trying to advertise it. That can be a pretty intense, high pressure exercise where you actually have to have results. You know, I support myself through my work. I don't have a second job. So if things don't go well one year, that's a problem. But having a little bit of a buffer or a pillow from a program like Valley Creates lets you relax for a minute and say, wow, I know where this income is coming from for this period of time. And I'm gonna focus now on just making the work and I don't have to worry about chasing the dollar. You know, it's not just about the money, but it's about the feeling of support. Like, oh, there's actually somebody out there who wants to help me produce what I want to produce. That feeling of support is huge. To feel like you've been recognized and what you're doing is worthwhile. On a certain level, maybe a shift in confidence. Like, yeah, somebody's got my back. It's impossible to imagine what life would be like without art around us. You know, a community needs to not just feed the stomach, but also to feed the soul.